Hey guys, so today we are gonna learn how to get bigger, fuller lips for all you lip lovers out there that want bigger lips. Um, I personally, I'm happy with my lip size, but I wanted to do this video for you just because I know people want to see like how to get bigger lips. And also I was kind of curious, I was like, I wonder what my lip size would look like when it's bigger. So this is the video for it. So I got to work with the company Candy Lips through Octoly. If you haven't heard of that site before, it's just like a good site for creators and then brands to like collab together and you can just review their products and stuff for free. So that's cool. And it's all honest reviews don't it's nothing paid or nothing like that so yes let's get on to the video so the customer service with these people were pretty cool because the first item that they sent me was this licorice one and it is actually a wrong size for my lips this is meant for two centimeters or wider of a lip size and mine is less than that so I just wanted to show you what this one looks like but then they sent me the second one after I told them I was like that one doesn't fit my lips so they sent me this one and it's the little apple and this one is meant for two centimeters or below it has the little lip cushion so it helps like protect against your lips because if you had it off that would hurt having suction on that so it helps protect you. So this device plumps both your top and bottom lip and you can actually put a divider in if you want to like do just your top lip or do your bottom lip whatever you want to do so that comes in handy if you want to just plump up one lip. So one thing I want to tell you before you start doing your lip plumper and everything is that there is a conditioning lip process that you get these little cupping marks around your lips and my cupping marks weren't really that bad the first time when I actually tried these uh, this one out this was a lot larger of a cupping mark like it was like from here to here it looked like I had a little mustache and then down here it just looked like a shadow but with this one it was much much smaller like it more looked like a little mustache from like here to here and then like down here so this one was a lot better cupping mark but it just looks like a little bitty bruise but you can really work that out by just like rubbing your knuckle across it and that helped a lot for me so also you get this little lip book telling you all about the lip conditioning stage and just how to guide you through the process so it's real easy to do and also my marks only lasted about three days and on the third day they were already pretty much gone so you really don't have to worry about it okay so now that you know all that let's get on into the lip plumping and and make our lips bigger but this, that's this is also one thing that I kind of don't like is that it's kind of hard to push the apple like the licorice is way like easier to do so I'm gonna take off my lipstick because you want to have clean lips you don't want to have any like oils around your face or anything like that so I do have makeup on so hopefully that doesn't like alter the process which I really think it won't so now that I have all my lipstick off I'm gonna just insert my lips in just as like a kissy face motion just go on like mm. and then you want to line up uh, the center of your lips with this line and have your top lip on the top part and your bottom lip on the bottom part and then also you can actually control how much pressure you want to um, for it to have like a good suction on it so you can actually do a light pressure so it's not like super huge lips but you probably won't notice that much of a difference or you can do it all the way which you will see a good difference and you hold it on for two minutes and if that isn't a, your desired result wait another two minutes for your lips just to let them settle and then do it again for another two minutes but I believe I'm just going to do this for two minutes and it should be good so here we go okay so yeah you always have this ring around your mouth and this is like this is a good fullness for me but I'll do it just a little bit more for y'all guys even though it's not too much of a difference but it is just a little bit like the lips are just slightly fuller so now I'm gonna wait two minutes and then I'm gonna plump for two minutes Woo! it looks like your lips got murdered so yeah, this whole ring again, it'll be gone in like 30 seconds or so, so no worries. So yeah, you can definitely see it's a lot plumper. Again, it can get way bigger than this. Trust me, I'll insert some pictures and you can see, but it's like too huge for my lips. And I'm just like, uh, I don't like that look. So yeah, now I'm just going to put back on my lipstick that I had. I'm actually wearing the NYX lingerie in corset. Yeah, you can definitely see that they are like fuller. Of course, again, you can get them way fuller than this, but this is like the like kind of maximum that I want to go to where it's just like, oof, but not like too boom. So yeah, guys, that's the way that you can plump up your lips by using Candy Lips products. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And comment down below, tell me what you think of this whole lip craze trend. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you like, eh? But personally, I'm like, do what makes you happy. If you like bigger lips, get bigger lips. Do what you need to do. If you like your own lips, then that's great too. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my other videos. Bye.